Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RDA. This is the reaction to Ralph Ragnick's press conference ahead of our FA Cup game. Preview will be out tomorrow, so subscribe if you're new, smash the like. Um, quite an quite a interesting press conference, obviously uh, you'd expect it to be quite an interesting press conference with everything going around United at the moment with the leagues, players unhappy, you know, all of that stuff. Um, transfer window being opened up, um, the press conference was delayed by a little bit. I don't think there was a unnecessary delay. I think they knew this quest this presser was gonna be quite a intimidating one and I think they probably used that delay to prepare Ralph, you know, to answer some of the questions that he was gonna be asked. <clears throat> but we shall get into it, obviously. Starting with um what's happening on the United website. Um Ralph Ragnick spoke to journalists on Friday ahead of United's FA Cup third round match against Villa. The interim manager was answered some questions on the mood on of the squad in the last league week's league defeat. How he and his coaches feel progress has been made so far and what the side needs to improve on in the weeks going forward. So, the <clears throat> first question was asked. Hi Rolf, I hope you're okay. Obviously the Wolves game didn't turn out the way you wanted it to and since there has been so much debate about the atmosphere within the club, whether it, it is as it should be, give us your thoughts on where the club is and how you feel about the squad. So obviously this is coming from, you know, what has been in social media leaks saying that the dressing room was unhappy and all of that. Rolf said, well, I can only tell you about the squad, obviously. I don't know about the atmosphere inside the club. I can only speak about the players, the locker room and the coaching staff. Obviously, everybody was disappointed after the game. Not only about the result, but also how, the, how they performed, especially in the first half. Now we have four days of training. Yesterday, today, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow before the Aston Villa game. My job is to make sure that we put in a different performance on Monday against Aston Villa. And I think, you know, kind of brushing it aside, you know, saying that what we kind of expect like obviously the players are not going to be happy after a loss against a game and obviously it's his job to freaking make sure the team does perform better against Villa so I think didn't really give a yes or no answer but you know kind of stating the obvious on that one he was then asked do you feel the players are behind you and the new coaches it has been a big change do you feel that the players are listening to you and buying into your ideas now that is a good question don't you think I think that is a very good question and again we didn't get a clear-cut answer he kind of half-assed it. He said, they are at least trying. They're at least trying to buy into your ideas? Because they're clearly not, you know, from what I've heard from Ralph and how he wants to gurgle press and how he wants to play fast, fluid attacking football, progressive football. I'm not seeing that. So I don't think the players are buying it and I don't think they are with you, Ralph. So I think the players are throwing him under the bus. And he did said, I'm sure they are listening. And I think we showed in the last games against Palace, also against Berlin, also in away games against Norwich and Newcastle, that they are trying to follow the advice we give them and that I give them. We conceded less goals than before. I think we have an average of, let me just check if it's true, 0 0.6 in those games. But yes, yeah, still about balance. We need to find the best possible balance between offense and defense. And we still have something to do to get better on this. Well, no shit. Well, no shit. You got to improve, you know, defensively. It's been okay, but it's been so pragmatic. And even if we play pragmatic, our clowns at centre back always have a mistake in them. Whether it's Maguire or whoever it may be, they're always a mistake in this damn team. So, like I said, I don't understand it. And also, your midfielders, Ralph. He spoke about having a midfielder. He says, you know, we kind of do need a midfielder, you know. So Ralph is saying it. I know Ralph wants a midfielder, and whether or not the owners will give it to him, that's another story. And that's why I said, you know, whoever is in charge of United, I was going to do it with one hand behind their back because. The clays are still around the football club and they don't give you much help. But um, moving onwards to the next question. How have the group reacted to the loss? Did, you make, did, you, did it make you understand how the results can be amplified at arguably the biggest club in the world? And he said, well, yes, as I said, all the players were disappointed, like myself, the coaching staff, because especially in the first half, we didn't get a hold of the ball. We didn't build up the game against Wolves. And again, in the second half, we it was better, but we didn't score. And we didn't score the first goal. We conceded 10 minutes from from time and as I said it's a question of balance of offense and defense I think offensively we have the quality we can show the quality but at the same time we need to find the best possible balance of offense and defense and again he's speaking about the balance so I don't know you know it's not a not something amazing from Ralph to be honest he was then asked there's a lot of talk this week about the dressing room being unsettled is there a problem regardless of the coach in the United dressing room he said this is not only an issue with a club like Manchester United when you have a big squad, we have a, and we have a big squad, at least the last two games, we had most of those players available. We had an issue with three centre-backs missing against Wolves, but in general, we had most part of our players available for the, apart from Paul Pogba. And if, if you have that many players and the only 10 players can play and three substituted, then of course, 
you can have quite a number of players in our case 10 12 13 14 players who don't play or not even in the squad and those players are not happy about the situation it's obvious it's clear i think in total we have a big squad i tend to explain to players every two or three weeks they are not playing but i can obviously not cannot do that in every game that is the issue in our team as well as other clubs are so basically saying you know when you have a big squad there is going to be players who can't play because you can only pick 11 and make these substitutes and obviously there'll be complaints and then it's just one of those things it's not just at united but liverpool or city if you don't play you're obviously going to complain as a footballer but i think again again that question not really giving it a clear-cut answer i think we wanted something like yes players like donny players like this players wherever it may be they are not happy and they want to move from the club you know so anyways um he was then asked hi ralph do you do you think the players not knowing your future is having an effect on the performance it's a pretty good question sorry about the fly <laughs> he said we have players with contracts expiring in the summer we have maybe also players who still want to leave although they are in contract even if we come back to the question ju- i just answered before it's about the players to deal with that situation in a professional way everybody has the chance and the objective to show in training and then they get their chance to play if it's not the case then they play then the player then the player together with the club and his agents they need to discuss the situation but as far as i can tell so far the players have been dealing with that in a professional way so i cannot say anything else if i realize that this is not the case i will address with the players directly uh, again will he though like what's the situation with martial then what's the situ- situation with paul pogba Donny, what are, what's happening with those players, even Lengard, you know, there's lots of remaining questions to be asked for Rolf, I think, you know. So again, just giving the politician Man United answer, I think that's just what Rolf is doing. That's just what Rolf is doing. So it is one of those things. He was then the last question was asked, Hello Rolf, do you feel that you and your coaches are making progress and how important is the FA Cup to your side of the season? Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's almost like a must to win an FA Cup. I am dying for a trophy at United. Do I think we can win the FA Cup? Not with this bunch of losers, not a chance. I think these players have exposed themselves as a bunch of frauds and spineless cowards. So I don't think we can win anything. And Bar like Ronaldo and De Gea, I don't know really who I can trust in the United squad at the moment. So it's just one of those things. But he then said, yes, we have made progress. But obviously in the game against Wolves, it was again a step back. Obviously, you know, it's not hard to say that. It was maybe even a relapse to habit that the team has shown in the past. And therefore we need to insist, emphasize every time that we have to work together. Again, talking about saying these problems were under Oli and we're still showing habits of them now and we're not playing as a team. He's admitting that and that's what I like about Tom. He's really honest, you know, he really knows what he's talking about when it comes to the football side. So I, I, I like that from Rolf. He said we can only get better in those moments in position off the ball when it is in possession of the other team and the two transitional moments together. We have to do the same things at the same time, basically press as one. We have to do it simultaneously. And of course, we also have to do it with passion, emotion and intensity. And that was the problem against Wolves, especially in the first half. We were only escorting them. If we look at it, really, it was only David De Gea objected them to going easily to our goal basically we're pulling Dev De Gea. Dev was one of the ones who kept us in the game in the first half, 100%. De Gea has been in immense form. In the second half, it was better. We changed the formation back to, uh, to a back three. But again, it's about finding a sustainable balance for the future. And this can only be done together, emphasizing that how the team is kind of not together at the moment and we need to make a change. So lots of weird questions. From In summary, what I think about Ralph's press conference that game, with regards to how players are feeling, it seems like these players really are trying to throw Ralph under the bus and they're just, they're not acting professionally. Ralph, I, I'm sorry to tell you, they are not acting professionally. They are not buying into your philosophy of football because I know how you want to play. And they are showing no signs of that. So that's just a bunch of nonsense. And with regards to um, you and how you're going to improve this, well, let's see. You have four days of training, like you said, before Villa. I'm expecting Villa to be way better. Uh, what happened in the 30 minutes against Palace on the debut you came? I want that, but again, because now you've actually had a little bit of time to play and train with the players. And I hope that the team that you pick is the right team, because if you keep picking Scott McTominay, Freds, Maguire's, and all the bunch of losers, you will fail. And obviously we'll discuss who will probably start in the FA Cup game tomorrow when I do the preview at Maloto, but um, let's just see what happens. But anyways, that was Ralph's press conference. Let me know what you guys thought of his, um, his presser. Do smash a like in the video. Do subscribe. I'll check you all very soon, probably tomorrow, for the preview. Goodbye.